Very exciting today to see who comes through to tomorrow's tournament. I can hear the character select happening on the screen right now. So let's get into our first match. We've got ROF versus Travis Boxer. We've got Birdie versus Boxer. Wow. Let's get the ball rolling. It's going to be a good match. Let's see. ROF's always pretty exciting to watch with that potential damage output. But Birdie, kind of an Australian classic at this rate. You've been following the throwdown so far. As I mentioned, we've had a bunch of quality highs, and I feel like we've seen a fair bit of Birdie. We do. Birdie seems to be a very popular character in Australia, a character with very strong defense, very strong normals. Handles the ground game very well, of course, so does Boxer. So let's see how ROF deals with Travis Boxer's aggressive Boxer style here. As you can see, Travis getting suited up, ready to go. ROF. Looking cool, ROF. Looking He's very fast, suave. So. He's looking ready. Just another day of Street Fighter V for ROF. It's going to be interesting. He's even yawning. Look at this. Oh, Look at this thuggery. He's taking it so easy. Wow. All right. And here we go. All right. Aggressive Straight immediately. Throw. Throw. Oh, right there. Jump in. Right off the gate. Okay, misses the sweep, misses the punish, straight into a command grab. Good punish. The damage. Okay, good jump back, heavy kick. Hitbox on that jump back, but still managed to catch Barrow and try to approach. Okay, both players just trying to get a read on the ground game at the moment. Okay, ROF in the corner, but manages to jump out, misses the command throw, eats a dash punch from Travis. ROF still in the corner, but Birdie fights so well out of the corner. Travis sitting somewhere where no one wants to be in a Street Fighter match. That's in the corner, but immediately as the starter found his way out of it. Oh, that's a right lot of bank. damage. That was the tap. And here comes the damage. It's almost done. ROF on the ropes. Good throw tech, but unfortunately just presses a button there at the last second. Travis Styles with the first round as Boxer. Oh, wow. And you saw that there with the damage potential of Barrow I was talking about. You know, a bit right. of even trading back and forth until Barrow says, no, I've had enough of this even trading business. That's right. That's Going right. in, big hit, big damage. Closes it out pretty quickly there. And it looks like we might have a small issue. It looks like we're on single round games at the moment. <laughs> we might have a technical issue. <laughs> Let's get the TOs out there. We need the... We might need the TOs out the there. Uh, so the time was right there. We were on 99? Yeah. All right, yeah. so... I don't know if we'll still count that. We'll see what the, the players oh, and TS well. come to there. But okay, looks like see? we might need to replay that one from the beginning. I think one round's a bit too fast. We might be out of here in about 15 minutes. Do you see that cabinet off to the right, though? It's actually one of the prizes. It's up is, for first place tomorrow. It is one of the prizes tomorrow. I think it's got Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 4. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to come. I wouldn't want to leave my house if I had something like that sitting in my living room anymore. Oh, other people need to leave their house. It's like you come to your place because everybody's going to want to start coming over, oh, no, hang out in your place. Oh, you know, there's like 15 different street fighting. I just love the artwork on that cabinet. It yeah, looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's something you'd be proud to have in your lounge. Mm -hmm. I think all of the FGC will be coming over to whoever owns that arcade cabinet. They'll be coming over to their place to play Street Fighter. And as we rematch into this match once again, now we are on the proper Capcom Pro Tour settings. We'll go straight into the game now. Boxer versus Birdie, straight from round one again. Alright. And ROF dashing in confidently again. Blocks the dash punch, good block. Goes for a jump, doesn't make it. It is looking like we've just started from the top here. Gonna, we're gonna reset, we're gonna throw out a banana pair, yeah, getting our early game for Tassian, making sure we've got the energy for the rounds to come. And those command throws do so much damage can really put off the other player so early in the round. Arrow finds himself in the corner again, trying to fight his way out. Travis pushing really hard with those death punches. He was lucky to not get punished for that whiff move, but it did put him straight into the corner, so it was almost mm. just as bad, really. Good anti-air. Good throw tech. Good that. Alright. Alright, and down goes the can. Taking his chance to take a chug. Travis jumping away, not having any of that mix-up. Seeing Travis being quite patient here. Yep. He's, he's waiting for ROF to make the first move. He, so wants, he wants to react. Yep. Sitting back on his laurels a moment with the life lead. Knows he doesn't need to go in quite yet. He's got a big life lead and he's just extending it now with a good anti air. Okay, another big dash punch. Yeah, no, you definitely make a good point with there. such a light advantage. Oh, and the overhead punch activates into V Trigger. Big damage incoming. But well, we see a mix up here in the corner. Fortunate to not get that whip grab punched in the ROF corner. is in trouble. Boxer has such good comeback potential, particularly when he's in V-Trigger. And the stun! Counter hit in the stun in the corner. That's going to do it. Hi, hi. And that is it. Round one to Travis, the Boxer player. What a fantastic comeback. That V-Trigger, such a game changer in Street Fighter V. Really good spacing with that corner pressure from Balrog there. Just the, the nice range, the nice timing to get that counter hit. Capitalize perfect off it. Got all the damage you needed. Absolutely. Now ROF starting that psychological warfare with the command grabs. Oh, goes to the Dolphin Dive, but just misses, just heads over his head. And ROF finds himself in the corner again, trying to use that armored headbutt to get out. Again with the overhead. ROF needs to block high for... Okay. It's not a great situation where you need to use right. guys. We use your resources to get up in the corner, but you can see, eventually Ooh. we found a way out. Okay. Oh, just a little too far on the command grab there. Good That's punish. so risky to leave Boxer alive. Lost the overhead this time on the V-Trigger cancel. Excellent block. 
and just uses that armored headbutt to get out. Activates his own V trigger. Here we go. Oh, it's not going to be enough damage. Travis Amazing. almost Ooh. dead and finishes the round out. Was that a crossover? Oh, was that yeah, did right. I hit in front? Hit it can it can go behind or front. The classic of Street Fighters when you hit behind, it's still landing in front. That's, that's kind right. of, it looks like one of those there. They're the nastiest to deal with. Okay, so it's one round of peace here. A very important round here for both players. Trade on the overhead. ROF very lucky to get over that goes for the sweep. Good punish from Boxer. ROF in the corner and in big trouble. It's the overhead. So close to stun. Right, that's a good wake-up option there. You, you can tell when your opponent knows that the stun's coming, you know they're going to get aggressive on you in the corner. So it's a good option to wake up with the RDX move there. Okay, Kamui walks up and look at the damage on that command grab. Oh, wow. an excellent standing roundhouse crush counter on that dash punch from Travis. Excellent read, and ROF is rewarded accordingly with the round and the first game. Excellent read with that crush counter there, stuffing up Balrog. So Balrog went for his meter to try and get out of the corner there. Mm. Okay. read it perfectly. Now we just like to emphasize that this is a best of five, so each player will have to win three games in order to advance to the next round. Travis has given the thumbs up. That's, you need stakes like that when the prize pool's like this and the stakes are set like this. We're going to take it serious. We're going to give each player the round and rounds you need to truly determine. The 16k prizes tomorrow. There is a lot on the line. Both players very keen to close out every match they can. All right. Both players jostling for position on the ground and ROF going to that command throw again in the close range. And again, just hits over his head, and a good punish from Boxer. Even after the jump, the big barrel is like, trying to punish him. Yes, and another command grab from ROF. Not a move you want to win, but a lot of 30 ZX moves like that. Oh, but this time it pays off. Now Travis does have V-Trigger on deck, he will activate likely here. Here we go! And just a straight V reversal from RF doesn't want anything to do with that V trigger pressure. Definitely a good V reversal. That was Barrow's momentum point when he cancels in, activates that V trigger. You know that's where it's going to start. The mix ups are going to happen. The pressure's going to happen. Travis on the magic pixel here, and RF picks it out with a straight wake up throw. It's a it's a risky move when you wake up in the corner going for the grab. It's always the tempting move to go, but that's when you get shimmy all the time. It's a classic of shimmy when you got yes. an opponent in the corner. They're going to want to wake up with something. They wake up, they feel the pressure in the corner. Often you see players move back and forth, dance around a little bit. In this right, case, I like Street Fighter Four. The throws are much more risky in this game, which makes it much for a very exciting game. And Travis going for a straight jump in doesn't convert. One of those okay. moments I think Birdie was trying to fish out a footsie, a normal there, just at the moment where Travis went to jump in. Birds off the can, throws down the Red Bull can. Nice, Nini kicks there. Must be one of those special corner. edition Street Fighter cans he's using because he's doing so well. And straight into stun, ROF taking game two very convincingly. It looks like that yawning on. from the beginning will be paying off. I don't think we've got Birdie cans on these uh, limited edition Red Bull cans. <laughs> I think we're going to need to message Red Bull and to tell them to get Birdie on one of these labels. All right, ROF up 2-0. Travis has got to make something happen here with Birdie. The thumbs up, universal FGC sign. We're ready to go. He has to start getting aggressive with Boxer if he wants to get a game on the board here. Otherwise, he's just going to go down 3-0. Good crush counter. Just misses the follow-up with the juggle. And ROF answers straight back with the headbutt. Good sweep. Of course, Birdie controlling the normals on the ground so well. Straight into that armored headbutt. Good punish from Travis Styles. Travis is playing really solid here. You're seeing whiff punishes, you're seeing anti airs, you're seeing the status of what it takes he to be. He is, but ROF is just taking it to him player. so well with the offense. Okay, oh, no, the banana. Right here. Eat the banana. Right into the V trigger activation. Okay, V trigger from both players now. Both players stocked up. The round doesn't start until the V trigger is activated. ROF in the corner once again, as he has been in every round, but just pulls out the surprise command grab. He's been oh, so sneaky so with those. Damage. And straight into the bullhorn, and another command grab for the throw trigger out the round. Activated. That is going to end it. That was so much damage. It was, it was two, three quick moves from Birdie there. That's all it took. Travis really needs to start getting a read on these command grabs. Uh, do Birdie's man grabs do extra damage in Beach Trigger? Possibly does. Good Seems crush pounder with the standing roundhouse. Damage is really big. Okay, and again with a command grab. Travis needs to start doing on, on wake up like he was there. Wake up with a crouching jab. Okay, good V reversal. V -reversal. Again, reversal. but reads the. Reads the command grab very well there, that was well done. Okay, good conversion. ROF not having any of it with the EX Bullhorn straight out of there. And goes the banana pill again, gives him some room, pushing Travis back. And Ooh. just misses with the chain. He does miss that banana as well, he's watching his feet. How are you going to land that? Alright, and Travis going back to the overhead. Okay, V trigger activate. Two reversal from Travis, doesn't want anything to do with the V trigger. Okay, down goes the limited edition Red Bull can. Tries the exact okay. same sequence again and again. again. Hey, if it works. My goodness, he's just going mad with these wow. horns and ROF takes it. 3 nothing. Over oh, Travis, yes. the boxer player. ROF looking very confident with his work there. And a very good play from both players. Travis just 
couldn't seem to get a read on the command grabs there. So many sneaky command grabs from Birdie, that's the name of the game. He handles the ground game so well, and ROF has been a staple of Birdie since Season 1. He knows the character so well, so congratulations to ROF. He'll be going through to the next round. None of these Season 2 gimmicks here for None them. of these no, Season 2 gimmicks. Like... Rush down, crazy damage business. I know, I mean, look, it's all those special edition Red Bull cans he was throwing down. I think that was getting him to do so well. Um, and speaking of the special edition Red Bull cans, make sure you grab yourself one of these beautiful... What have we got here? Let's see if we can see it in the camera. You can you see got we've the got Ryu. Ryu on the front here. There we are. Special edition Red Bull cans celebrating the 30th anniversary of Street Fighter. Make sure you grab one of these. They're available on the way in or on the way out. They're out there on the pack show floor. They Keep are. Eye out for them. And of course, it's that classic Red Bull taste. It tastes fantastic. So thank you very much today to Red Bull for their partnership with Throwdown Esports for bringing you this blockbuster Street Fighter V action today. It's not just the can itself, though. There's also a little code if you look at the tab. You I'd get a little bit of content. That's right. There is a secret code underneath the tab, which gives you some content. If you enter that into your PlayStation 4, you will get some content for Street Fighter V. But so. while you're out there grabbing a Red Bull and while we're getting our new players, I think we'll take a quick break to get our new players up. Uh, stick with us, don't go anywhere, there's still a lot more action to come. We'll be right back guys, don't go away.